We're going to play some post-board games here against Green Black Tron with the Kiki Cord Shell. On my side of the table, I'm bringing in a bunch of pairs. I'm bringing in two Stony, two Crumble, two Unified Will, and a Fulminator Mage. And I'm cutting uh, two Helix and then some of our miscellaneous bullets that are just like poop in this matchup. Scavenging Ooze, Linvala, Hobson and Bale, Ospel. Occasionally they have like, um, are you playing what's it called in your deck, World Breaker? Occasionally they have World Breaker, but even if they do, I have three Path to Exile still. Yeah. Cutting this last Path I think is fine because you really don't want to flood on them, <laughs> but you do sometimes want to kill their Worm Coil, or sometimes you can win through an Ula, the first Duel Mog, so I think this is reasonable cards to swap out here. Matt, what are you doing? Um, for me, any deck that's playing white, I think it's safe to assume that they're bringing in Stony Silence against you. Um, so you just kind of hedge and bring in a couple of Nature's Claims. Fatal Push is just unreal against uh, Kiki Cord decks. More spot removal. Yeah, more spot removal is always good. And then this Relic doesn't really do much. It's okay against Ewit, but I think that's kind of corner face. And then just board out some of your rocks to kind of insulate against Stony Island Straws and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, I took the play in the green red magic so I should take the play here. I think this is going to be our last set for the evening. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I mentioned the following and the subscribing and all that. But really, one of the best things you can do is just, you know, just show up. Just hang out and watch the content. I appreciate that. And remember, if you miss any of tonight's action or you had to leave early or get here late, YouTube channel is linked in the stream information. All of the games will get archived up there. Nope, we're not running. We're not running extra combos. You don't. You don't need more combos. I hate when people. So like, one of the worst things I think you can do with the Kiki deck is like push the combo to be faster or add more combos into the deck. The deck's not a combo deck. If you want to play a combo deck, you should play Infect or Ad Nauseum or something like that or Breach Titan. That's like a dedicated combo deck. This deck's good because it's a mid-range value deck that sometimes kills with a combo. And like even Kiki Jiki is a value card. Uh, well, we have Tron naturally in our hand, and this card is just actually really good against Jeff. This is a land-heavy hand, but I think it's just to keep, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, on my side of the board, um, Close. we're know. a crumble away from everything we want in this matchup, so, yep, starts off heavy. Oh, I want that. Yeah, I want that. I'm going to play this and that. Why don't you cut down to my hand here real quick to show the people that we are, you know, And now I'm going to instill in the people of chat one of the most important things about the Tron matchup. Never kill the tower. The scummy Tron player always has a second tower. So we're going to stone rain the mine and go to 18. Go ahead. Sure. Yep. Um, come pass me. Yeah. Power is power. I'm going to fetch down to 15, getting a breeding pool, and we'll crumble the tower because we know that they have another tower in their hand and we want to take, take that away. They're going to laugh. Two power plants. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I laugh. Mm. Yeah. Two oblivion stones and a nature. <laughs> you would have stuck them on one land. So, tower. we're hitting the tower. Um, it's so, right. it's and, one, and one of the things here that's important to note, it's actually, it doesn't matter once you're getting rid of all of them, but you always want to be consistent. So, statistically speaking, you always want, I, one. I never, I never stone rain the towers first, I always crumble the towers first. Just, like, be consistent. Like, here, we could have gotten him real good, but, you know, I always, always do the same line. So, again and again and again. Okay. Yep, good. I don't think I'm gonna draw on that because I want to hit like a uh, black source. Or you might need, might need to make black mana. Yeah. All right, draw. Yep. Speaking of that, I'm gonna do this for green. Yep. I'm gonna use this. I use the draw card. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm gonna scry. Yep. Sync to moving. I should get no, a black source. Get, I yeah. get this. Yeah. Yep. And then you're free. I'm going to play a tapped land. Yep. Uh, I'm going to play Eternal Witness, return a Fulminator to my hand, yep. and then play a Bird of Paradise. Go ahead. All right, we're not going to be casting that card. I'm going to play that. Yep. It's Oblivion Stone. Do I need to get it on the table this turn? Probably. I don't think I can do much of anything else. So. Yeah, good. Uh, 
Uh, attack for two. Yep. Go ahead and Eight play turn. Fulminator Mage and Fest Turn. Yep. What did you ever do? I mean, he deserves it for playing this deck, but. Kill a man in a past life. Who? You? Why? Because he's double Fulminator or I mean, Eternal Witness Fulminator. <laughs> Crumble. Have you seen Jeff play before? Play games before? Um, cast this. Look, you don't end up with the most top base without a win without being a little bit lucky. That just makes good factual sense. <laughs> <laughs> go, question mark? Yeah, go. Cast Kiki Jiki. That's not going to happen. That's bad. I mean, it's going to happen, but I'm going to think. Kiki Jiki will target Fulminator Mage. Uh, I mean, that's not really going to happen. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm supposed to eat this now. Yep. And then you can get Revolt. And then I'm going to push this. So I'm going to get only. I will Unified Will your push. All right, you have it all. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. That was my push. You just Unified Will. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> The old stone rain into crumble in the blank. The metery died because the guy that owned it didn't have offsite backups. That's that's the, the TLDR. Offsite backups are, are overrated. Ian's a great guy. If you're watching this, Ian, nothing against you personally. He just didn't back up his data. And it was going to be far too expensive to put it back together from the really old backups that he had. So, RIP metery. For, the, for reference, a lot of people thought I owned part of the metery just because... I was their primary content producer for a long time, like their biggest their biggest name that they paid to produce stuff. I was just an employee, and I wrote stuff for them, and I liked their deck list, so like their deck list site was fine. Um, so we used that after I stopped writing for them still, but I did not have any stake in the media outside of getting a paycheck from them. Man, maybe I can't, maybe I can't play this deck, because I really hate those not cards. Not being able to win some games. I really hate those sideboard cards. I'm on a draw here. Yes, sir. That's one, all right? Yeah. I need that. I'm not keeping that. <laughs> <sighs> On my side of the table, um, wait, I, I mentioned I mentioned earlier that the mana's casting full mana mage is much then. harder when our splash is blue instead of black. Like if this was a black white land, we could cast this full mana mage, but we can't cast the full mana mage right now. Is this hand worth keeping? I'm actually not sure. This is really close. I, I would definitely ship this on the draw. I think. Because, like, turn three Fulminator is pretty slow on the draw. I'm going to play this is pretty reasonable. We, like, have turn two voice guaranteed. I'm, I'm going to mulligan. I think I, I can do better. I got a thing. There's a red land on top, of I, course. I feel like I'm keeping this because I'm just a turn player. You're going to see a land in a cantrip? Yeah. Oh. Sure, sir. <laughs> I've landed many cantrips. I'm going to keep it. Did you see mine? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, like, somewhere... All right, somewhere. Down to six. It's a, it's a bunch of crappy cards. Ah, basic mountain voice of resurgence. Sorry, I've missed you. Um, I think this hand is fine. We need to scry into a fetch land. Uh, I think I'd keep this on six. Stony Silence also pretty good. Uh, fetch land on top. Uh, tap land, go. Good one. Good one to draw, I suppose. What do we do here? I think I just do this, right? I'm thinking. No Tron piece on one! Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Hogland. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to stir. It's either that or I do. Oh, God. Hey, maybe you'll pop eight Indy. I'm supposed to do this. That's a little for winning the 1k. I think objectively I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, time out of time. Every time. Uh, breeding pool voice. Go. 17. Yep. Do you have Fulminator? Who? Not mine. Oh, okay. He mulligan that one. I'm pretty sure I'm passing. Yeah, I'm passing. Yeah. Tech for two. Yeah. Good. 18. I'm going to eat this. Yep. Uh, which one do I have multiples of? Just kidding. Uh, Tower is power. Pretty bad keep from that. My hand was sweet. He had he had one Tron piece with I the map. I have a Sylvan Scrying and a like, what Ancient you... Stirrings in my hand, too. Yes, okay. My sure. hand's awesome. Yep. They're just used to the Tron players always having it on three is the sure. problem. Yeah. They're used to playing against Scum. This is tough. I think I'm supposed to... Um, 
So that backup is probably. Oh. I'm going to cast a stirring secret. Thinking. Bet you won't. Holy shit. Don't you dare. Quell yourself. This just adds more pressure to the table. So I think it's the right line. Sure. Uh, play this. No, I can't do that, can I? Yep. I have to pass now, right? You, if you go for a black, you can hit Fatal Push and get your stirrings. Math, no good go. If he doesn't already have a push, that seems real loose. Horrible. Um. So bitter all the time. And that's gonna be angry. Hmm. I'm just gonna attack for two. Sixteen. Good. Got another one. Uh, I'm gonna do this for black. Yep. You're supposed to objectively tap this one, right? In case you draw. Oh, draw it, Tron. Yeah, if you yeah. draw naturally, this one makes yeah, more mana. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna brutality, but I'm trying to think of what I need to discard. I think it's just to discard this. I'm gonna brutality. Oh, I can't kill that. God, that's annoying. Never mind. It's a two, three. Yeah, so you don't want to kill voice. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You could brutality just to discard me, but that doesn't seem stellar. That's, well, that's, that's pretty poor. Um, I have black black floating, right? So I'll use the black in this green. I'm gonna scry. Yep. I go get Tron online. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna think for a second. Thinking resolves. Um, I'm gonna play star and Ethos star for black. Sure. Or sorry for green. Sure. Sorry. Play a land. Go ahead. Cord for bird. Yeah. Don't be afraid to cord for birds, folks. Fix your fix your yeah. mana. Yeah, sometimes. Do what yeah. you gotta do. Cast your spells. Ain't no shame in it. Brutality to check for crumble. And that's where my line was. I was thinking about that, but it would have gone poorly for you. I yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Just, yeah, I really just done this. And I don't have a crumble yet. Right. Can you cut me to a crumble? No, I refuse to cut you. You're lucky enough. You don't need my help. Uh, attack you for four. Twelve. You have twelve. Uh, stone rain. You're mine. Yep. Good. Yeah, sweet. Go. Uh, Court for three. Yeah. Uh, stone ring your power plant. So I played two fulminators, ladies and gentlemen. You can court for the second one. Go ahead. I'm at eight. Uh, no, I courted. Oh, you're at 12, you're so 12. 12. Yep. Go. <laughs> <laughs> nice deck. Crumble your tower. <laughs> 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 I think the sideboard plan might be good. Well, I mean, when you draw in your first six cards, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's okay. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> my hex games today, right? I told you I didn't want to play tonight. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I haven't been out already? Yep. <laughs> nice deck. Oh. Uh, yeah. 
I think third we're gonna play a third crumble or a third counter spell. Probably a third counter spell. Yeah, I would play a third counter spell for the third crumble. I think there two full maters, I think the third counter spell is. Because like the crumble is only good against the Titan deck if they draw the Valakut. Yeah, the yeah, you have to like and they have to play it on the turn. Most of the time they're gonna like just tighten off on you yeah. the you know, so you don't have time to cast it. You don't have a window to cast it, rather. I mean, Ventus, we di I did spend almost three hundred dollars buying equipment for the stream, so you know it's uh, it's big, pretty large investment, really. It's almost as much as covering a GP. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Am I on the play for this one? Yes, you, you are. are. I'm gonna just sneak this one lander here on the draw. I'm gonna keep mine push too. The, push this shit off the cliff. All right, so on <laughs> uh, my side of the table, um, we've got sideboard cards, but we've only got one land, so let's run some lands off here. I have uh, Tron piece and some other. Stuff, so I'm gonna keep start us off. Stuff, man. Uh, what do I play first? <laughs> this is what we sign up for with the deck. Come on, we know, yeah. we know what we're signing up for. Right, idiot. Uh, yep, that's exactly how I feel. Stomping ground, is it stomping ground? Might be breeding pool. 17. Yeah, I'm gonna get breeding pool because there's more red sources than green in the deck. Go ahead, or more, or do need, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get breeding pool. Show me your hand, idiot. I'm gonna discard. Uh, oh god, no! Do you want to, <laughs> no, I had crumble in my hand. <laughs> do you want to draw a card too? Oh, nah, nah, I need to keep the color available. I think. Okay. You, you, might, want, you might want to double spell later. All yeah. right, so my crumble is gone. My bird is gone. All of our dreams are dead. Oh, All of our dreams are dead. Nah, 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 Why? Nah, Why? Got a nice deck, idiot. <laughs> Right now you have to cut. Yeah, I'm gonna cut. I need a land. I need a land with you. Ten out of ten would keep again. God, I'm so glad the razor ridge ticket got put on the bottom. Go. I got another one. Sure you do. Yeah. I was so hoping you could draw another one. Um. I'm gonna use this for or something. Let me get the green. Yeah, green's fine. Sure. Green for this. Use the green. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna take this mine and or yep. this mine and you're good. Maybe you should take three stirrings. No block. Okay, go. God, I'm an <laughs> idiot. No, you didn't. You never had the option. That's too stupid though. Well, I should have taken the other one. No, you. It was this one or the other. Oh, one. I thought it was a power No, no, no. Reason. You're fine. You did it. Yep. You did it. Phaser. You uh, might be casting these things fairly. You're not wrong. Uh, attack for two. 18. Go. Welcome to the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure plenty of... That game was a little brutal. I'm sure plenty of Tron play goes to score. Dude, this card's gas. I don't care what people say. Like, uh, it's got to be better than Path. I don't know. It's better than Path in this matchup. This brutality? Yeah. I don't know. I'm still like on the fence of whether green black is better than green white. The black or the white splashes. It's <laughs> almost as great as watching Matt play well, Judge. <laughs> <I think, laughs> they're I, all they're all so close. It doesn't matter. I think very firmly the red is the worst though. Now, do you, do you think that's true? No. Of the, I, Tron I, of the, of the three. I think of the three... Green, blue, Tron doesn't yeah, green, exist. Like of, the three, of the three playable ones, I think it's red. Maybe I'm going to revolutionize and play green, blue, Tron. Hey, play green that one guy, the, this one guy, he played uh, the green, black version, right? And he played one Razor Verge ticket in his deck or something like that. Okay. And he played uh, a bunch of white cards in the board still, too. Top eight of the original. You're sick. Uh, I'm on the... Play this game right for four. Yep. Yep. All right. So, um, keep. Yeah. I, I don't. I keep. Uh, keep. Yeah. I don't. I don't really know how to describe this hand other than keep. I'm gonna keep mine too. Yep. Sure. I have a Tron land. I have some stuff going on. I don't know. Raging Ravine again. Twenty third land coming in clutch. Go. Can 
That's the one strike. Yep. Look it up. Tower. You can do it. Yep. Cool. I think I'm taking his green. I think I'm taking his dual land here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take your dual land. Just play your for a second. Actually, I'm take your dual land. Go. That might be a little aggressive. I think that's right. Play this now, right? Yep. Go. Crumble your tower. Well. You're not lucky enough Go. to play this deck. Yep. I don't even know I'm going to get Black Source. Oh, I'm, I know what I'm going to get. Yeah, I'm going to get this. Yep. Go get a workshop. Uh, I'm going to... Actually, not in the worst shape. Fetch a planes. Use that planes and these to cast Renegade Rallier. Return this to play. Mm -hmm. Cast Selfless Spirit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But Matt, uh, Burly wants you to know that you can just play four times Murmuring Bosk and play Abzantron. You're not wrong. I can't do that. <laughs> it is available. Uh, I'm going to cast this Brutality on... Uh, God, what do I the care rally about? Big, the Rally is a big fatty one? Yep. I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to cast this. I'm going to discard. Do I need to discard this? I mean, I can get Quarter Calling. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I, I might as well try. Right? Maybe you can uh, sell the Spirit next time. Push to 18. You think that's better? What? Because... No, I can... This this card I don't think really matters right now. Well, you you can just play O-Stone, but I guess you take an extra turn. Yeah. Like your next turn. Uh, actually, I have a blue source in my hand already here, so I'm going to get my third red in case we draw a Kiki Jiki here. Yeah, there's a Sacred Foundry in here. So I promise I'm going to die to this. Yep. Patron Ravine in the clutch. I'm not going to be able to cast these cards this game, probably. Put that up there. <sighs> draw. Uh, play a land, play a voice, attack Whoa. for six. Go ahead. Raging Ravine up there in case we get newer players that wonder what's going on with that guy. Pretty sure I'm just dead now. Probably. I'm going to brutality this. I'm going to discard this card. I'm going to gain two year list too. Yep. 14 to, to 16. 15? Uh, Taking three on the one of these turns, 16, right? no. Okay, 16. No, uh, I'm going to go. Something with these. I'll let Tom let you know about attack for seven. Seven, seven. yep. Seven. Good. That checks out. Oops. How do I, how do I win from here? I don't think I can. Nope. Yeah. I mean, I need a fatal push for this. That's like the only. I'm, yeah, I guess I'm still not dead. You're not dead this turn. So you could, like, yeah, you could hit a push. So I can crack cast the map. this. No, I can't, crack, can't the map. crack the map. Crack the map's bad. You play that. Play this. And you, you hope. I mean, this can. I can't kill this. You could I, actually. You could kill this. You could start by cycling this to make to a black. To make, make a black. Because if you hit push, then you can cast yeah. push off this on this turn. Okay, and that's fine. And then, like you have to brutality. I guess you don't have to. Oh, I do because this is gonna make a token, and I'm just gonna die. So you're gonna need to gain yeah. two life, right? I'm gonna have to gain two. So yeah, I'll discard. So I go to four. Oh, you can kill that and do that. Yeah, that seems fine. Discard this. This doesn't do anything to kill that though. I mean, it kills you it eventually. A, you get a token. Get a token. And it means he can push this at some point, right. though, which he's going to have to do. I'm at nine, you're at 14, though. I don't have a choice. Uh, I need to hit a push. Playing this makes this lethal That's enter. Lethal, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I said, I need you to break a creature and I need to push. Scrying was not push. Oh, you know what? I could have... Well, and then, too, I had this on... I had this. It was an out, too. Scrying was also an out. Why? Because I can go to the close quarter. The, good, the the two three revolt death toucher that one drop I think could be very reasonable in the right aggressive deck. I do not think the four three with revolt for two is good. That's much worse than Goyf. The the two three with death is an upgrade from Curd Ape in a lot of decks that were playing fourteen plus fetch lands anyways. Brutality has a second target. Right. It's target it's opponent, target, I believe. Yeah. Or is it each opponent, actually? I don't target actually know. Is it target opponent? It's not that good. I, in target, target, player, target, target. It's not that good. target, 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 target. Okay. It's a very good card, but not in multiplayer. All, right. All three modes. Right. Be on the draw for the last one here. Yeah. 
Yeah, the opener was four land, full main, or crumble rally, and I was just like, yep, let's find another play. It's a little slow on the draw, but I probably... I feel like if Chan wins even half the post-board games, it's fine, because you're probably going to win every game one against this, for sure. Oh, is there a ghost quarter in your deck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I drew a Sylvan Scrying. Oh, no, you know your, your map could have gotten ghost quarter. That's oh, right. Dumb. Me too. I'm still probably going to die, but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah these, you're right. You're completely correct. That's why I ripped it off the top, and I was like, oh, the scrying gives me a ghost quarter, but I forgot the It's map. not six extra draws. It's like two extra draws, maybe. But yeah, you're right. You definitely should have gotten ghost quarter. I was at nine. You would have had There's a, there's a ghost extra. quarter in there. Uh, gasoline. It's good. The bay land is good. I have one Tron land, um, but we have three different ways to get stuff going, so it's just fine. It's just a little above average. He's going to crumble you on three. That's fine. I'm going to mulligan a hand that had uh, three drops in Kiki Jiki. No, no full main in three drops, so it was too slow. Man, there's Tony Sonsons in here, right? I was I not at 16. I was at 9, I believe, that turn. Maybe you could have mapped earlier? I don't remember the sequencing. I don't know. Oh, maybe the turn you scrying? But you hadn't been you hadn't been crumbled at that point. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't crumbled. How dumb would it be an expedition map put it into play? Uh, just, this deck would be that. Probably should already be. No, I don't think so. But it would be at that point. Okay. Uh, this hand's a little bit slow on the draw, but I think it's fine, especially at six with a scry. So scry me river. Uh, I'm gonna bottom another land. There we go. Yep. Wow. <laughs> You're still not lucky enough to play this deck. I respond. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna go 17 off a of breeding pool for that. And that's why this card is too slow on the draw. Whenever people cite that as like a sideboard card in the match, it was like, yeah, it's fine on the play on turn two, exactly. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play this card no matter what I draw. Do you have a card? I have two now. Alright. <laughs> We're done. Get your blue stars. Yep. Give me two damage. Bolt the card. Alright, sweet. Well, what a game! What a game! And that that game's why, why people hate modern. Nice, nice hate cards, idiot. Nice hate cards, idiot. It's you not a board fifteen. It's not a hate card on the draw. I know. It's just it's, it's not. It's, it's just a, a two-minute discard card. So Stony Silence on the draw in a match. Actually, in this matchup in general, Stony Silence is what I like to describe as a two or ten card. You either play it and it wins the game, or it just like doesn't have a text block, so it's completely irrelevant. Yeah. So. Um, and the only thing I really had that could have interacted with turn three card in the play like that was I would have had to head turn two Fulminator, which is just not statistically. Not you have to have, you have to have Bird plus one of your two Fulminators. Yeah. I guess technically we could have had Bird and Eldritch Revolution, but I also had this on the second turn two to kill your. Yeah, but then you're not. Bird or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you bring a unified will in this matchup? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You wanted to be able to counter these. You play it. Yeah, you, I guess it won one. Yeah, yeah, I guess it, I think it was the first game. 